Mm. All right, so like I told you before, we are at Miss Botswana 2022, and I bumped into these queens. Um, yes, um, could you introduce yourselves, please? Hi, guys, my name is Vanessa Mutesu. You can call me Lisa. I'm the current reigning Miss Team Botswana 2022. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm the second runner up for Miss Team Botswana 2022. Hi, my name is Rosa Osanoza. I am listing Botswana first runner-up. I'm here with my team. Could you tell me your ages? I'm 15 years old. I'm 16 years old. I'm 18 years old. And what are you doing school-wise? I take all commercial subjects, which is business studies, eco, and accounting. I also do history and PE. I really want to be in the business industry when I grow up. So I am in currently in Form 4, and I, my main subjects are around the creative industry because I would like to be an actor when I grow up. Well, I'm a student at the University of Botswana studying criminal justice. I'm hoping to also pass on to law and do my law degree. I'm hoping to be an art in you one day. So we're talking beauty with brains right here. And these are African queens that have got a lot to offer Botswana. So as a reigning Miss Teen Botswana, what do you do? What's your job? Is it I think my job is making sure that my peers are heard, everybody is heard, and I'm the voice that speaks out for them. Also making sure that people are happy and content with who they are, as Miss Team Botswana's logo and motto is, believe in your dreams. So I'm here to motivate teenagers to believe in who they are and their purpose in their life. Wow. Oh, that is so beautiful. Is and what do you do as the second runner-up? What's as your job? As the second runner-up, my job is to obviously look out for my siblings, for my sisters, because they're practically just family to me. So I have to look out for them, help her through her journey, make sure that she is in the right state through everything that she does, because she is um, representing the whole country, which means she has a lot of things to worry about and she has a lot of things to maintain. So I'm as a me as the second runner-up, I have to help her through that journey. Wow. Yeah. And what's your job as the third runner-up? My, my uh, job as the first runner-up. First runner-up, sorry. My job as the first runner-up is to actually work with these two beautiful young ladies and work on our project, which will be out soon to actually help teenagers all around Botswana with anything that needs to be heard and voice out um, their issues that needs to be heard and addressed. All right. That is so beautiful. I think one thing that they forgot to mention is that all of us will be competing in international pageants and we will all be able to be queens and hopefully, I mean, let's manifest it. We are going to be queens. We're gonna be, yeah, yeah. You are already queens. Are already queens. <laughs> what do you mean we're going to be? You are already queens. <laughs> yeah. So where we... we when you say international, which country are you gonna go to? I'm we going can't to disclose that one yet, but she can. I can disclose mine. I'm going to India. I'll be competing for Miss Teen International. So I'm competing on an international level with beautiful ladies from different continents, different places, and we're gonna we're gonna battle it out. <laughs> And you're gonna yes. definitely represent. Yes, we are. With the support of Botswana, I hope to bring the crown. What, what is the one thing that you would like to say to Africans? Basically, you know, as a team, what yeah. would you say about Africans in general? I think one thing to always remember as an African is to not be limited by the fact that you are African and to forget that. Who you are does not necessarily define your future. So making sure that you know that, yes, I'm an African person, but that doesn't mean that the, the steps that people are doing as Africans is what I have to do. I can be different from everyone else. And we can see, right? And then uh, most of them are believing in your dreams. So every African child out there know that your dreams are valid. Yes, your dreams are valid. I think, yes, I'm connecting to that point. I think I think that I would let them know is master your roots before you focus on your future. Because your roots and your future, they all have a connection. Wow. So, are you are you all from Aboroni? No. no. 
All right, so let's start with Miss Tinman. Where are you from? I'm actually from Mount Kodi. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I am from Muchudi. It's a village not too far from Kaboroni. I'm from a, well, it's not small, but a very lovely mining village in the Botedi Sub district called Letagani. All right. I always hear it on uh, weather reports. <laughs> Letagani weather. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. I wish you the best. Thank you so much. And, and please make us proud. I will. Well, definitely. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>